Keywords can be a very powerful organization tool inside Final Cut Pro, so let's take a look at how they work. To begin with, I'm gonna select my video event here, and then inside the video event, if I scroll through this, you can see I have several different video clips of my daughter Trinity, and in some of them she's older, and some of them she's younger. And so let's mark the child clips with the keyword child. So here's one way you can apply a keyword. What I'll do is I'll select this clip just by clicking on it, that selects the whole clip, and then I'll come up here to the keyword button, I'll turn that on, and then you can see the keyword editor pops up, and I'm gonna type the word child. And then I'll hit return on the keyboard and that turns the word child into a keyword. And you can see it's been applied to the clip. Also, you can see this blue line here across the top of the clip. That's a visual indicator that there's a keyword that extends throughout the entire clip. That's why you see the line that goes across the whole top of the clip. And another thing that happens, if I come over here to the event and twirl this down, you can see there is a new entry under the event. This is called a keyword collection. And what it is, it's a virtual collection of all of the different clips that have the keyword child applied to them. So in this case, it's just one clip. If I select this keyword collection called child, there's just one clip now. So it basically filters down and shows me a virtual collection of only the clips that have the word child. So now I'll click on the video event again and let's apply the keyword child to another clip. So here she is on a swing. I'm gonna click on this clip. I could type the word child here again, but there's actually a faster way now because I've already applied the keyword child to a clip. If I twirl this down, now you can see I can hit Control-1. That's a keyboard shortcut, and it would apply the word child to this clip. Or I can just click this button here. So that clip is selected. If I click this button, three, two, one, and now, sure enough, the word child has been applied as a keyword. And if I scroll up, let's scroll up here. There's another clip, this one up here where Trinity is just a baby in a high chair. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to not apply the keyword to the whole clip, but just to a, a small section of it. So I'll select the range. I'll click and drag here. Grab the edges of this to set a range. So now it's not the whole clip I have selected, just a range. I could apply the word child by clicking here. I could hit Control-1. Or there's another way I can do this. I can grab this and just drag it right over to the keyword collection, and now I've applied the word child. Let's do that again. There's some clips here where Trinity has short hair. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll click this clip to select it, and then I'm gonna come down here and type the word short. And then I'll hit return, and sure enough, the keyword short has been applied to that clip. And also there's a new keyword collection here called short, and what I can do now is click on this clip, that she has short hair there, and I think there's another one, yep, right here. I'm gonna command click on this clip, so now I have two of my 14 clips selected. I'm gonna click and drag both of those clips over to short and apply the keyword short to both of them at the same time. And you can have more than one keyword on a clip, so for example, over here, I can click this clip and I can say, you know what, I also wanna apply the word long, because she has long hair here. And also, maybe I'll try outdoors, because she's outdoors, so I'll hit return, and now I've applied the keyword long and the keyword outdoors. There's more keyword collections here. And if I decide, you know what, I actually don't want to have the word outdoors on this clip, so let's delete it. I'm going to select it here and then just hit delete on the keyboard and that deletes that keyword. Now what I have is an empty keyword collection over here because there are no clips that have the keyword outdoors. If I select this, you can see it's empty, sure enough. So let's delete this keyword collection. I'm going to control click or right click and then go down to delete keyword collection. And I should also mention that when you delete a keyword collection, if there are video clips inside of it, it does not delete the video clips. They're still in your event. You're only deleting the keyword collection. Anyway, I'll go ahead and click on my video event so I can see all of my video clips. And if you wanna see all the keywords that are applied to a specific clip, what you can do is click on it to select it, and then go up to the keyword editor and open it, and you can see the keywords that are applied to this clip here. But there's actually another way to do this. I'm gonna go up to the view menu, and then I'm gonna go down to browser, and I'm gonna turn on the skimmer info. Control Y would do the same thing. I'm gonna turn that on. And now what happens is where the skimmer is, I get this little info window that pops up and it shows me the name of the clip and the keywords that are applied to the clip. And right there it was beneath it, but up here it can be above it. So anyway, and if you ever wanna remove all keywords from a clip, you can select it like this, go up to the mark menu, and go down to remove all keywords. That's one way to do it, and you can also use this down here, remove all keywords or control zero. I'll twirl this back up, and I'm also gonna close the keyword editor for now. You can see that keywords are a very powerful way to apply either one word or two words or three words or a small phrase to a clip as a keyword, but sometimes you wanna have more text associated with a clip. And for that, we use notes. And so to demonstrate this, what I'll do is I'll open up the inspector. I've got this clip selected, I'll go to the inspector, and then in the inspector, in the info inspector, there's this section called notes, and I can just type something here. 
Trinity swings during the reunion camp out and then hit return. So now there's a note on that clip if I close the inspector and then do a search. I can click on this little search button here. That opens up this field and I'll just type in reunion. And sure enough, I don't even have to finish typing it. You can see that this clip pops up. So the search will search through the titles, the names of clips, but it'll also search through the notes field associated with clips. And there's another way to get to the notes. I'm going to reset this and I'm going to turn off the search field and I'm going to switch over to list view. I'm still in film strip view. So if I click this button here, it toggles over to list view. And then if I scroll over, you'll see that there's a notes column here and this clip has that note applied to it. So you can also just click directly in here and start typing if I wanted to add another note to this clip, for example. I'm gonna switch back over to film strip view. In addition to the search, which you can get to from here, you also can click on this little button here to bring up a filter window. This is very powerful. I'm gonna click on this button. It brings up this. And what you can do is say, okay, I'm gonna search for text. So I could type something in here, or if I want, I can add another filter thing. So I'm gonna click on here. And let's say that I also want to look for certain keywords. So I could use the keywords option. Now I have a new filter and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna look for anything that has the word camp somewhere in text, but then also where she has short hair. So I'll uncheck these and there aren't any. So it has to meet the criteria of everything that I have listed here, all of the different filter items. In this case, there aren't any. There aren't any clips that have the word camp and also have the keyword short applied to them. If I remove this word camp, well then I will have some clips that have the keyword short applied. But if I wanna have camp here, and then if I have long, I think we applied the keyword long to that clip. Sure enough, we did. And so there's just one clip that has that. Now, this is a very powerful advanced way. If you have lots of different clips in your event and you wanna search through them, this is a great tool to use. And then if you have a search that you really like and you wanna save it, you can save it as a smart collection. That's what it's called. So I'm gonna create a new smart collection from this search as a demonstration. And you can see that it's ready to be edited. I will call this camp and short or long. That's what I think I searched for in that. And I'll hit return. So now you can see it has a different symbol here. This is a smart collection. These others are keyword collections. This is a smart collection. And if you wanna get into the smart collection and edit the criteria that are part of the filter, then all you have to do is just double click on it like this. You can get back in and do some editing. If you wanna add more filters, you can. There are several different ways that you can filter through your clips. I'm gonna close this down and I'm gonna delete this smart collection. I'm gonna control click or right click on it and choose delete. And when I delete the smart collection, it doesn't delete the videos. It's just deleting the smart collection itself, the save search. So I'll delete the smart collection. I'm going to extend the sidebar out here a little bit. See if I can open this up so you can see that by default, every single library has a folder in here called Smart Collections. And if I twirl this down, you can see there are several library level Smart Collections. When I was adding the Smart Collection down here, it was just at the event level, but you can have library level ones too. And so for example, if I wanna see all of the different clips that are just video, okay, so I'll select this. Now I'm just seeing video clips. And if I wanna see just audio clips, I could select that. So these are just Smart Collections that are defaults that come with Final Cut Pro when you create a new library. Same thing for favorites. I'm just seeing the clips that are marked as favorite. I'm gonna twirl this down and I'll go back to my video event. Between keywords and notes and filtering and smart collections, you have so many different ways that you can filter through and search through and keep your clips organized. I'm just using a handful of clips for this demonstration today, but you can imagine how powerful this would be if you had 100 clips or hundreds of clips. That's a quick introduction to the organization tools that we have access to in Final Cut Pro. In the next video, let's begin editing a project.